One of the people responsible for installing fog cannons, bollards and roller doors after ram raids is pulling out of all government contracts, calling the process a shambles. It comes a week out from the Hamilton by-election, where ram raids and crime are front of mind for locals. Karen Rutherford reports. Hamilton landlord Jeff Henderson spent the day putting in and paying for his own security after a second ram raid in 11 weeks at his family's bottle store. Five offenders smash their way in this time. He can't and won't wait for the government's crime prevention fund to help out. We obviously had to apply with the, the police to do that and his reply to me was that he'll send an email to Wellington. He doesn't know if he'll ever hear anything back. Um, so, yeah, we can't hang on to that, that sort of hope. Um, yeah, we've just got to get stuck in. And... He's taken to parking his van in front of the store at night until he can install new bollards and strengthen his doors. So there's no one to call, um, there's no one coming, so we just do it ourselves. While across town, the Prime Minister arrives to meet the City Council, iwi and police about tackling crime in the city and around the country. We have doubled, or the police have doubled, the number of contractors they are working with because we want to speed up the pace at which retailers are getting that support. But two doors down from the bottle store, this optometrist ram raided in August, only just this week got its fog cannon, one of a hundred stores still awaiting crime prevention measures. Only four companies in New Zealand have the police contract to install fog cannons, bollards and roller doors. One of the four has just told us that after five years they've pulled the pin this week, saying the government's process is a shambles and there's no plan in place. It lacked a strategic plan that a project of this size required. And for us, there's no point in throwing money at something and simply expecting it to happen. It has to be structured. His company's withdrawal adds to the weight for ram raid victims. Many will have been applauding news this week that the government's committing $4,000 to any retailer who wants a fog cannon, whether they've been hit or not. This government is literally making this up on the fly. It has literally been put together, you saw the announcements just in this week, under huge political mm. and public pressure. And nine days out from the Hamilton West by-election, crime is a cornerstone issue that can't be ignored. Karen Rutherford, News Hub.